going into the meeting now. Keep moving, don't get caught, and delete all records of the raid on the prison transport. Any files that might provide leverage, send to me. Understood. Ah, you must be Trade Master Kavarok of the Red Meteor Consortium. Yes. And you are a little human who wishes to trade. I understand. You acquired items from the prison transport recently. I'd like to buy the lot. Why you want frozen prisoners? Republic carbonite freezing units are superior to my clients. Keep the prisoners, I only want the boxes. <laughs> Do we look like jailers? Then we'll dump the bodies ourselves. Just don't expect us to pay extra. Maybe we sell it all back to the Republic. Oh, I'm sure I can find a reason for you. I'm done deleting evidence. Oh, Sending fires to Taking damage. Sending now. Why should we not sell to the Republic? For one thing, I have files right here showing you destroyed a Republic transport last year. What? Video evidence from your own ship. How you get this? It fell into my hands. I'm sure there's more where that came from. Yeah! Uploading files now. I see you've also had financial difficulties. You lie! Oh, I don't believe so. You've racked up quite a debt to some Trandoshan pirates. Does your crew know you've been gambling? Maybe I make sure you don't tell. Or maybe I can do you a favor. By the time we're finished here, your creditors will be gone. Not possible. Maybe I prefer you gone. For the man you owe a debt to. See if he answers. Marus! Marus! He's gone. Now, imagine. If my people can do that to your enemies over the course of this conversation, what do you suppose they can do to you? All right. We sell carbonite prisoners. It's been a pleasure doing business. How are you feeling? I've been thawed from carbonite, pierced by 25 needles, and injected with something I can only describe as liquid humiliation. I'm pleased you're doing well. I'm all right. Did you tell me? I can see stars. Am I on a spaceship? Yes, you are. You're safe and you're going to be better soon. Don't condescend to me. My apologies. If you'll excuse me. Hold transmission, silence audio. You said we'd all meet back here. Yes, I lied. She's on her way to a private medical facility. I couldn't be sure you'd approve. After everything we've been through, you'd still rather manipulate me than trust my judgment. It's nothing personal. My wife has the same complaint. Where is she going? Shara will be cared for in secret by a group of richly compensated medics and scientists. In a very slow and regrettably painful process, the damage to her brain will be repaired and her loyalty programming undone. You can do that? There are no guarantees. My people say it should be possible. When she is free, I have advised her not to rejoin the Empire's service and to make a life away from conflict. She's never had that chance before. After we defeated the Star Cabal, I could have escaped too. You advised me to keep working for the good of the Empire. You signed up to join Imperial Intelligence. You kept fighting after everything that happened. You made choices to continue on your terms. She never did. I'm giving her that chance. Talk to her if you like. Say your goodbyes. Shara, do you recognize me? Are you concerned about hibernation blindness or the brain damage? Of course I recognize you. The minister, former minister, says you helped me. I don't want to do this, Cypher. I don't want them to decondition me. You don't have to be scared. You're not a prisoner. Say the word and I'll talk to the minister. I do have to be scared. The Empire altered my limbic system. I'm sorry I haven't been there for you, Cypher. Everything else just got in the way. And I'm alright, I am. I just don't know who I'll be without... You'll be who you've always been. An agent of Imperial Intelligence. By whatever name. They may get rid of the conditioning, but they can't change your memories. You'll be back. Maybe so. Stay alive, and I'm sure you'll meet the new me. I believe our business is done. 
I have a retirement to get back to, and while I don't expect we'll meet again, I believe I've said that before. Retired or not, you're going to watch over that woman. You'll see to it that she recovers, and you'll make sure no enemies find her after. She's going to live a very peaceful life. Yes, she will. But don't underestimate her, either. There is one other thing, by the way. I may be out of the game, but you're not. I hear rumors intelligence is on the verge of reforming at last. Darth Marr wants you to advise and oversee. Independent, but with full access. Darth Marr considers my independence to be treason. Yes, but you'd be a check against any Sith who'd use intelligence for their own schemes. A new agency will need new personnel to replace those lost. I have files with potential recruits. Untraditional, but highly skilled. What kind of untraditional recruits? Military deserters, terrorist sympathizers, and Malgus's alien insurgents. All of them believers in a better empire. If we're going to survive... We need everyone who believes in any empire, working together. I'll make sure these recruits are put to good use. If I understand the coming threats, you'll need them. But as I said, I'm out of the game, and the files are yours. Watch for enemies within and without. Everything is on you now, and you know the stakes for civilization. Tabula Meg, Min de Uge, Ose Kizosa, Homo Libon Oringo Mostu, Lanan Filet, Kibdo Beselegna Diop. Approaching Torches Island. locals came up with. Hell if I know why. You recently had a falling out with the Revenites and the Nova Blades. I could use your help. I bet you could. Tell you what, instead of whatever grand gesture of cooperation you thought might happen here, why don't we try something a little different? Been a while since I had a decent challenge. I'm taking this opportunity to show my clan how it's done. Okay, so I'm a little rustier than I'd like to admit. But just a little. Felt good to be in a real scrap for once. You got what you wanted. Time to return the favor. Well, that would be fair, wouldn't it? So. You know the Blades went and partnered up with the Revenites. Means you probably know they're up to no good. We helped out the Blades to have a good relationship with Raiders Cove. We didn't sign up for the Revenites in their all-out war, so we bailed. Put out the call to your clan. You fight for the Empire now. Yeah. My days of working for the Empire are long gone. 
Give me a single target that's worth my going toe-to-toe -to -toe with. That's fine. But the Ravenites and their fleet of warships? Pass. Where are these ships? Couldn't tell you. I wouldn't mind it a bit if you chased the Ravenites out of Rishi. Off the radar is just how we like it here. Good hunting to you, stranger. Kesush Mandoade! Who's up for a Skarkla hunt? And your frustration, Jakaro, but there's only so much of your bluster I'm prepared to take. What's going on? Theron's been captured by the Revenites. Data from the Nova Blades hinted at the location of a Revenite safe house in Raiders Cove. We looked into it and were ambushed. Revan knew we were here. It looks that way. It's possible he may have sensed our presence, I couldn't say for sure. Whatever the case, I stand by my decision to not impede in Theron's abduction. And I know Theron would too. Now he's in a position to do what he does. We're talking about a seasoned SIS operative. If the Revenites took him to their base, he could learn a lot. Of course, if we're to make any use of that knowledge, we'll have to exfiltrate him all the same. Hopefully you've fared better with the Mandalorians. Revan has a fleet of warships on standby. Of course. From examining the Nova Blades data, it looks as though they've been routing Imperial and Republic fleets here to Rishi. So, the Empire and Republic are drawn into a full-scale battle. And whoever's left standing, the Revanites pick off. And we still don't know who we can trust. We need to interfere with the Revanites' plans, if not stop them outright. Uh, uh, mm. Yes, it's true. I was able to pinpoint several communications originating from another island. I'm told there's a Rishi village on the outskirts. I can't imagine they would resent our presence there. Do you think it matters to me if they mind? I was only pointing out that they're not terribly concerned with the affairs of others. We have to assume Revan's expecting a resistance force now. You should expect to find patrols along the way. <laughs> I am not programmed with biological data for the Rishi Master. Should engagement prove necessary, my approach may seem grisly and inelegant. You're new. Are you in charge here? We don't really operate that way, but I can act as that sort of figure if you require it of me. How might I help? What do you call this place? The village doesn't have a name. It's just where we Rishi live. Rishi or otherwise, anyone living here chooses when and for how long of their own accord. I suppose now that we've left Raiders Cove, you're going to start complaining about them instead of the pirates. <laughs> You cleared the path well, and made a friend. I am called Arankau. The other inhabitants on this island. Are you in contact with them? Do you know what they're up to? If an individual Rishi chooses to get involved with others, that's that Rishi's choice. Otherwise, we tend to see no reason to inquire. These other inhabitants, they have also kept to themselves. Strangely, their encampment appears to be segregated. One group looks like her, the other is less... intense. No matter what they look like, they're as good as dead. So, there's a camp for Imperial traitors and one for Republic Revenites. And they're not exactly friends. This may provide an opportunity, either to extract atonement for their deception or to employ a little deception of our own. It's an opportunity to thin the ranks, is what it is. Your zeal for making heads roll never ceases to surprise me, D4. Don't worry yourself, it may yet come to that. 
I'll take a closer look at these Ravenite camps. And we'll attempt to establish a better grasp of their activities. I hope we can establish where Agent Shan is being held. As do I. We, Rishi, would be grateful for your help around the village. If you choose to provide it, of course. Savor your travels. Be patient, Sergeant, but be ready. As soon as we have word from Revan, our work begins. Lord Ivris, sir, there's... it's... It's you, the Imperial Ghost. We have found out. I suppose Darth Maar sent you to fight his battle for him. Seems his usual way. No, better still. You learned about us and thought Mar could be in on it. You're here on your own. We have the upper hand. You might think you're in a position of strength. But this very second, your Republic friends are plotting to take you down. Like me, they are resolute in their beliefs. They won't falter. Meaning you don't even have a contingency plan in place. What if the sworn enemies camped right next to you decide to revert to type? She makes an excellent point, my lord. It does seem we've been less than a step ahead for some time now. Our position at our heels and in the shadows. You'll get no further resistance from me. I can't vouch for every last Imperial Revenite, of course, but I can speak for those present. What do you intend to do about the others? Captain Milanek and his subordinates? I'll have my people look into your claims. You may well be right about them. There have been reports of skirmishes in the area. I want you to stay alert for anything out of the ordinary. Such as? By the stars! Be ready to fire on my mark! You should be more worried about the saboteurs Lord Ivaris ordered to infiltrate your camp. Nice try, but I don't buy it. Ivaris wouldn't turn against the cause. No need to be suspicious. Look into it. You'll see I'm telling you the truth. I swear, if you're putting one over on me... Go! Get everyone on the lookout for movement from the Imperials! Ivaris must be looking around for Theron Shan, to use him against you somehow. What? No, he's well aware that Shan's in the Valley Stronghold. I'm gonna have words with Ivaris when this is all over, I'll tell you that. I'd recommend letting your blaster do the talking for you. Yeah. Yeah, I just might do that. Thanks for the warning. Lana? Theron's being held in a valley stronghold. Could be Revan is there as well. I have to foresee what the Rishi know about it. We'll work out a plan of attack once you've returned. I've never met a people quite like the Rishi. Pragmatic, accommodating, reasonable. If it wasn't for the climate, I'd consider staying. I could see making a home here. Really? Hardly a hub of galactic secrets, current circumstances aside. As I mentioned earlier, I did acquire some information worth noting. Rishi observations surrounding the Revanite stronghold fit what we know. They're holding powerful warships on standby, and they're well protected. Revan actually intends to take on the Imperial and Republic fleets all at once. It's audacious, to be sure. We've been unable to reach the Imperial fleet nearing Rishi, but I can confirm from the Nova Blades data logs that Darth Maar's flagship is among them. Get to work on a solution for our connection issues. He needs to know what's coming. I'm working to remap the interference patterns into a code that protocol droids on approaching ships should be able to decipher, if they're any good. Press on. Stall their ships if you can, and we'll do what we can from here to reach the fleet and lend support as needed. <laughs> I'm no pushover, but you aren't joking. We do hope Agent Shan is recovered. Yes, preferably alive. Now go show the Revanites, and, fate willing, Revan himself, why you are not to be trifled with. Uh, 
I'm starting to get the hang of slicing. Theron's influence, I suppose. Give me one second. There. A hollow record of Theron under interrogation. Coordinates are coming your way. And Revan? No indication he's there, but no indication he isn't either. I wouldn't let my guard down. Revan. I should have known the Empire would send one of its lapdogs to try and find me. You should never have bothered. What have you done with Theron? Theron Shan's fate doesn't matter. Neither does yours. I'm changing the fate of the galaxy itself. All I see is you trying to destroy everything. I'm not waging some war with the Empire and Republic. I'm saving countless lives, and you keep getting in the way. The only upside in your being here, really, is that you get to bear witness. My plan's too far along for you to stop it now. Don't listen to him. It's not over yet. What are you talking about? Don't know how much Lana or Revan told you. But he's lured the Imperial and Republic command fleets to Rishi. Revan wants to draw them into a fight. Try to take out the leadership. It'll barely be a fight. Revanites embedded on both sides are gonna sabotage shields, weapons, you name it. And we can't warn them. Revan had the Nova Blades build him a signal jammer. No communications at all up in Rishi space. It'll be a bloodbath. The next time I see you in person, you won't be pulling off any miraculous survival. Actually, I doubt I'll ever see you again. This place is coming down. Soon. You could have joined me, Theron. Understandably, you're as tenacious as I ever was. Goodbye. Are you there? Lana? What just happened? I appear to have sliced through four layers of encryption to remotely deactivate the power core. Just in the nick of time. Don't know if I could have managed that even. Theron, good to know you're alive. I heard everything. About the jammer, all of it. We need to regroup for an immediate attack. Whatever happens, be proud of what we've accomplished up to now. See you soon. Take it easy, I'm not exactly 100%, and you're not exactly gentle. Oh, good! The team's back together again. All thanks to you for saving Theron, of course. He's lucky I arrived when I did. I'd hardly say that's... You know what, never mind. Theron, you have the intelligence on this signal jammer. You start. Right. The intelligence I gathered in the company of several interrogation probes while being held against my will? Jammer's on a nearby island. You've probably seen it. Can't be sliced remotely. Lots of Revanite zealots protecting it. The usual hopeless nightmare, basically. Let them try to stop me. Time's running short. You know what to do. It's what you always do. Triumph. Triumph. <laughs> Don't know if you can read me, but I've arrived. We read you. Thank you. 
my men. Uploading the files. Come in. Can anyone read me? I'm here. And you are on Rishi. Dothma, you have traitors in your fleet. Scores of them, acting under orders from Revan. Revan is alive. He wants you to destroy each other up there. Have the fleet powered down all weapons. Do it now. Your people should have a list of the traitors. Finally, an open line. Grandmaster Sean, it appears we have been set upon each other by your ancestor. Yes, we were notified by an agent of ours whose planet side. We're taking measures to detain the traitors among us. As are we. Given the nature of the threat, I suggest we speak in person. Very well. A neutral location. There's a pirate town on Rishi. My team will send the coordinates. That will do. Then we are agreed. A truce. For the time being. Well, isn't this interesting? Did I miss any especially lively topics? In fact, we were just wrapping up. Sutil Shan, Grand Master of the Jedi Order. Your intervention allowed us to defend ourselves against the Revanite fleet. Many thousands owe their lives to your actions. And the all-encompassing rot of the Order of Revan has been excised from our fleets. Now, we turn to the matter of Revan himself. My agent here has discovered that Revan's on the fourth moon of Yavin, where he believes the last spark of the Sith Emperor resides. Revan intends to return the Emperor from the brink of death, so he may finally be destroyed. He may not be in the best of shape, but he is the Emperor. He'll need help. The Emperor is not the being he once was. He now hungers for the end of life itself. He would consume us all. In resurrecting the Emperor, Revan believes he will succeed where others have failed. But the Emperor will prove far too powerful for Revan or anyone else. Darth Maher and I will be leading a joint strike force on Yavin 4 to put an end to Revan's plan. I hope you'll join us. As do I. For the Empire and for the galaxy. That went surprisingly well, I think. Yeah. It's nice to see the Empire and Republic can work together without stabbing each other in the back. It was the right move arranging for your capture. We've succeeded, haven't we? Unbelievable. Where's the trust, huh? Did it go wander off someplace, or was it never there to start with? If you were in on the plan, the Revanites might have been able to see that. What, you mean mind tricks and all that? I have implants. I'm protected. I meant your performance. Admit it. You might have betrayed the truth. It's... not impossible, okay? Let's just drop it. <coughs> Isn't there... anything else you wanted first? Yes. Will that be all? We're wasting valuable time. Revan's about to unwittingly destroy the galaxy, and I rather like living. Good news. You've got a fellow spy, a Sith Lord, and a deadshot Wookiee who feel the same. Yes, we're with you all the way, Commander. I'm sorry, did I not merit a mention in your list, Theron? <laughs> we're ready whenever you are. To Yavin 4, then. Let's finish this. <laughs> <laughs>